Welcome, welcome again on this dispatch and spreadsheet. On this video, I'm going to show you how to color code your work here, your uh, your rows. Uh, first thing, uh, remember how we hid uh, a bunch of columns? So we're just going to end hide this one, okay. and we're just going to go to action. It's good. It's unhidden, and we're going to go to status as row. Status row right here. And first one, we don't need it. That's where we put all the codes. So start from the second one, drag all the way down, and then go to data. Data, data validation. And you're gonna do select from items. And here you're gonna start putting your statuses. My statuses are active. Sorry. Data validation. List of items. Active. Comma. On hold. Comma. I would like to make them all capital if that works. It'll look better. On hold. Urgent. Booked. You can add as many statuses as you want if that will, if you need more, you need less. And make sure uh, click on reject input and save. Now here you go. You have them all here ready to go. And then we're going to go here to action. And we're going to grab the first column, the first row, where it has all the codes. And we're going to put on, um, we're going to put this code right here. We're going to put equal if parentheses B9 semicolon B30. These are just the columns. So B8 is this one to 30 right here. Okay. And all it greater than. Just follow me. I will I will put this uh, on the description as well. So you just have to copy it and paste. True. False. Close parentheses. Okay, so when we did that, here's the code, it's right here. We're gonna grab that little blue dot right there, and click on your mouse, and drag it all the way down. Perfect. So you have a bunch of folders here, and you grab this V column, right click on it, and hide it. Okay, we're done with that. I think we're ready to. Now, this one we can hide it as well. Column 9, uh, row 9 I mean. So now we're going to start color, color coding. We're going to click on Format and Conditional Formatting. And from here, we're going to pick basically the whole spreadsheet, which is A1, which is this column right here. I mean, before, we have a hidden one with the dates. Okay. But A1, A1, all the way till W1000, which is the last column, the complete bottom of, when you hit 1000, complete bottom of the, and W is our last, our last column, which is this one. So we, it will color the whole, the whole row. Okay, and I'm going to click OK here. And under here, we're going to put custom formula is, okay? And this formula is equals dollar sign K1, K1, which is the status. So basically, when the status is active, I want the color to be green. 
So equals active close. I want the color to be select the color from here. If you don't like green, you can put other, another color. Green. And I'm gonna save this. I'm the font too. You can change the font, you can change the design. But I'm good with the green on uh, black, black on green. It's good for me. So it's done. We created the first first color coding for the active active uh, drivers looking for loads. Okay. Now we're gonna create another one. And add another rule. And again, it's A1 till W1000. Right? And I'm going to put custom, custom formula. And the value is equal dollar sign K1. Again, K1, it's the status column. So when you see on status, you see K1 equals on hold. What's on hold? It's sometimes uh, you're, somebody else is working on this truck and they don't want you to book a load yet. He's working on booking something or driver has an issue and he needs to call you back or something. You can put it on hold so you know not to, bo not to, uh, not to book it. I'm going to put on hold and close parentheses and the color I'm gonna select yellow for for that black on yellow it's gonna look nice and done okay another one another one we're gonna create it's uh, urgent so again a1 w1000 right and custom formula Again, equals dollar sign K1. When K1 equals urgent, I want you to show me this color. I want you to show me color. Urgent is when you have an empty driver sitting, has no loads yet. So that creates an urgency. So I'm going to mark it red. Black on red doesn't look good. I'm going to change that to white. White on red looks nice. I'm going to pay you like, you know, just for the sake of it. And for the sake of an example. And I'm going to click, looks good. Yep, I'm going to click done. So this is the third for formula. Now we're going to create a formula for the booked reservation. When I'm done with the driver, I'm going to mark it done. So create another rule. And again, A1. W1000 that covers the whole spreadsheet and custom formula again equals dollar sign K1 equals booked. When you see booked, give me what color? I'm just gonna go with the fade gray, shows that I'm done with the job. Fade gray. No, I did the the font. Let's keep the font black. The color here. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna do gray. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so great. Done. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna create another one. Uh, it's not necessary, but I like it because uh, once as soon as you enter a driver, I want it to turn green automatically, so you don't have to. Uh, go back and mark it active because it will be as soon as you enter somebody there should be active anyhow so again a1 to w1000 custom formula the value is equals V1 dollar sign V1 the V1 is uh, where we put all this true and false so equals V1 if it's true 
we already told them like as soon as you enter a market true and a tr true will be green one equals true and done I'll make it green just like the active one again this is not necessary but it's one last step sorry gotta make this black and this green and done okay so all our code uh, codes are done close this I think uh, we're ready to start testing this uh, let me see falls we're missing something here um, I think we did that no we did that we're good hide color all right let's test it so we're just gonna pick our first driver Frank all right turns green perfect hometown Dallas it's green I'm looking for work for him I'm done with him I booked him book turned gray if for some reason our uh, his load got canceled or something I'm gonna put him back to active still looking for him my colleague is working on this truck tells me hey leave it alone I think I might have something I'll put it on hold okay and then he's been sitting for a while there is no loads he's empty I'm gonna mark him urgent and when I book him I'm booked then I'll move on to the next driver so I'll put another one here no. so yeah that's how it works I hope you guys like it and um, next video is gonna be a fun video this is how we incorporate Google Maps so we can calculate all these miles deadheads and that helps you make good good decisions when it gets to your truck, especially when you're on your phone with brokers. Okay, I uh, hope you guys like it, and I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.